Thank you for tuning back into the Walk On Pod. Uh, unfortunately, you guys are stuck with just us three today. So, Jared, Tommy, how are we doing today, fellas? I should be asking you the same question. What is the score of the game right now? Oh, it's halftime. 55-51 Kings are up. Made wow. a big made, made a big run to close. Uh, Mike Brown's toy with some uh some lineups. I like what I like what I'm seeing. You know, there's we fought through some adversity. So we need to make this a quick episode then, or what? No, I got it. I have it full transparency. I got it. I got it running right here. Uh, so the people, <laughs> the people that are streaming and not watching, Luke doesn't have sleeves on. He's wearing his jersey with no undershirt. Yeah, <laughs> like a, like a forty five year old man. He's just Stoyakovich jersey, bro. Someone asked me if Play this was thing. an Omri Caspi jersey today. I was like, bro, what? did you slap? Uh, did you slap them or no? No, it's 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 Pedro Stoyakovich. Mm, I uh, like Omri right. Caspi. That's wait, tough. you don't have the name on the back? No, I do, but they just saw me in front. It was in the training room. And they Caspi wore eighteen, not sixteen. That's what I said too. I was like, come on, bro. The jersey King's the, knowledge. The, no sleeves on the pot is. What'd you say, Luke? Crazy. I said the Omri Caspi knowledge is decent, though. I had a, I had a like. He was a warrior at one point. He was. He was scared to shoot the ball. uh, Tom, we don't want to talk about what happened yesterday for Luke, right? I watched. What do you mean? Okay, bro, I don't get what that means. It means that your team is just, just hoping and praying for a star. I don't get why you think you're better than me because you cheer for a team that's good. That doesn't make any sense to me. It should be the no, I, said, I, said, I said I said I didn't want to talk. I said that you did, probably didn't want to hear about it. Just good living. It's Not just good you. living. That's all it Tommy is. Tommy at least respects it. Respects what? The grind. For sure. No. Because he's a Raiders fan, so I understand. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but see, but I'm in the but torture have, chamber. But you have as to a understand, fan. like for most of my life, the Warriors were where the Kings are right now. Complete mediocrity. No. Yeah. That's actually the exact way I explained the Kings uh, yeah. today because they were like, why don't they get any of like, why aren't they ever the first pick? They always suck. And I was like, because we skate the line of mediocrity every yeah. single year. <laughs> like we're never bad enough to be the worst team in the league, but we're never good enough to actually make a breakthrough. Or Adam Silver just makes sure that the number one pick never gets there. Yeah, well, I mean, we're like, that. if we're like seventh in the lottery, the, the odds are so much against us anyway. So it's like. It's so bad. But now the way it is, we're going to get into this more, but like, I think it's, it's only 24% or 14. It's either 24 or 14%. I'll have to look it up of like your odds of getting the number one pick as the worst record. Yeah. Like it's not, it's not like a great, it's not no, how it used we, to be. We moved up this year. We were supposed to get like seven or eight and we got four. So yeah. Which paid off. Cause I think Keegan's going to be good. Why isn't he yeah, playing? It's going to be a bucket. COVID oh, COVID. Good. Still they still that. passed on. They still passed on Luca though. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't want to get into that. They, Luke yeah. definitely doesn't want to talk about the passes. No, because no, because Jared can actually attest to my thoughts on that. During that season, I said we do not need to take Bagley. I was very against Bagley, and I was a Duke but, fan. But do we remember? Like, I don't know if my. I mean, obviously Luca was the right play, but I said from that point, and I always will say this. Michael Porter Jr. Yeah, you will. That's, not even, that's what I said. But like, you need a small forward. If you don't have a great small forward in the NBA, it's really hard it to wings. be good. Yeah. Like, you need an elite small forward to be good. So Harrison Barnes, not cutting it. I think. I mean, I like Harrison Barnes, but like, it's the Kings haven't had like a good three since Hito or Jared Wallace. Wow, that's a long time. Gerald Wallace is a name I haven't heard in a minute. Gerald Wallace was a second round pick by the Kings. That yeah. was a great pick. Yeah. He, he didn't even play that there. long there either. No. He's like the the Gilbert Arena situation. Mm. Get traded and then blow up. <laughs> As, you know, because Gilbert Arenas is drafted by the Warriors. Like he played yeah. two seasons with the Warriors and then goes to Washington and just goes crazy. Happens. Yeah, happens. Um so I guess on that note, what we should – so today's episode, we're going to just kind of talk about the start of NBA season. The season started yesterday. Obviously, um, the Warriors won it last year, had ring ceremony last night. Um, yeah, this, is, this little, is Wednesday, by the way, just yeah. for our listeners. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Good call. Um, obviously, they got a little bit of drama swirling around, but I'm pretty sure, like, we talked about it on the last time we talked about it, so I don't want to dive into it, but – I mean, Jordan Poole got his money. 
and he's going to play well. They're going to be good. So I feel like they're the front runners to win the West again. I mean, by odds they are, but I also think like they just, they just mesh so well and they have such a good chemistry and like the ego, like obviously the Draymond Jordan pool thing is one thing, but like just Steph has no ego. Right. So it's like, yeah. it just makes it easy for them to sustain. Yeah. They're, they're deep, bro. I mean, one I think, game, one game I, doesn't mean anything, but last night, like they look real good. So no, they, they did the they patent did third quarter. Yeah. Pat, pat, Every game, you bro. Know, you can always count on that from them. Every I would time. say I think the only team that I think – well, I mean, not only team, but on paper right now, the team that I think could give them a run in the West is the Clippers, but they got to stay healthy. I think roster-wise, that's on paper yeah. going to yeah, be their biggest good. competition. A lot of Denver hype around, but I'm pretty sure they're going to they're losing Bro, to the Jazz right now. They, so. got, they were getting bodied. It was like yeah. a 20, 25-point game when I looked. I've never bought the Denver hype, not going to lie. They're good, uh, but like I don't know. I mean, Fox has twenty points right now. I don't. My bad. Uh, uh-huh. go ahead. <laughs> um, uh, I think the the thing about <clears throat> Denver is they just you never seen them healthy, so yeah, no, you don't really know. Like yeah, what, what the you're gonna get during the preseason? They were saying it was like I don't even remember the amount of days it was since last time Murray played. Yeah, it was a lot. I want to say it was like 500, 500 like, something, yeah, 500 something crazy something, yeah. like that. 500 something. Same with Zion and Zion and Bi uh, went crazy tonight, though. They're so nice. That's a top four seed. Yeah, CJ yeah, just dangerous. like puts them over the top. Really? Yeah, I think so. They're so if, nice because if Zion's healthy, but we like the smart thing would be to just assume he's only going to play sixty-five games the regular season. I think it's a good number, honestly. Yeah, yeah I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with that. Like, LeBron has been sitting 10 – he's had 10 to 15 games every year when he was in Cleveland, like that yep. second run, because yeah. he just knew how much he was going to have to – and energy he was going to have to exert, like, in those playoffs. Nobody would be playing 82 anymore, unless you're Kevon Looney. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Man, that was even man, the first Looney. time he's ever played. Yeah, I know. He's been hurt. That's crazy. What do we... He's a big man. That's crazy. Yeah, and the amount of punishment he takes. Big man, yeah, yeah. big man. That is real physical too. Yeah. Do we? What do we think about James Wiseman coming back? I thought he looked good last night. I mean, I thought, to be honest, everyone looked pretty good on the Warriors. I'm like, why? It was kind of scary. Yeah. I mean, not. I mean, but he was going up against AD and Braun, so like, it's not an easy match. Obviously, not an easy matchup. But like. I think with Wiseman, the thing is, like, obviously he's going to be a backup all year long balloon. So he just needs to kind of – he's a second overall pick, so the expectation should be higher. But, like, as long as he can give you what JaVale McGee was giving you, maybe a little better, that 2017-18 run, like, that's all they need. So, But I also think there's not, like, pressure that a number two overall yeah. pick would usually have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, this is year not... three. Well, so year three teams... was really year one. It, yeah, and the team isn't demanding what like the Magic are going to demand from Paolo. Like it's not the same. It's yeah. not the same pressure. Like he might yeah. put that pressure on himself, but I'm sure his confidence level to just go out there and perform in the role you're talking about is going to be a lot easier than if he feels like he has to be the change in a franchise. Like for sure, he he, he just needs so. to he just needs to be big, dunk everything, and play great defense. So. Yeah, the, the the key will be how he handles pick and roll defense. Yeah, he was getting caught up a little bit last night, but uh, he's another one I think too. Like, if you're the Warriors, like you can't expect 82 games out of him. Yeah, nah. nah. Like so, like what you know, you guys said it's he doesn't. There's not a lot of pressure. Like I don't feel like there's any. No one's expecting anything out of him. I think yeah. they're probably expecting more out of Jonathan Kaminga than they are about out of agree. Wiseman. And but I, I didn't think, like I didn't like him at the three last night. I'm gonna be honest. No, they I did they not had a like, lineup with Jamichael Green at the four. Yes, James four. Wiseman yeah, that the was five. crazy. They, Jordan was at the end the of the first one. crowd. And yeah, Dante. Yeah, crazy. they could not score. Oh my god. No, I never want to see that lineup on the floor ever again. <laughs> Opposite of the death lineup. <laughs> yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> yeah, I think. I personally think Moses Moody is the best out of those three he was right out there now. Shooting with confidence, bro, yeah, he's so five. tough. He's so tough. He only played eight minutes last night, but bro, just like he's really nice. Like so, he, they threw him in the Western Conference Finals last year, 
for important minutes down the stretch and he was just fine. Yeah. So my question, do you think – I was thinking about this last night watching the game late. Do you think they literally drafted and put their team together like to mirror their main guys? Like Jordan Poole is like a Steph clone. Steph. Moses Moody is a Clay Thompson clone. Kaminga is a Draymond clone. And James Wiseman is like a bigger loony. Yeah. Could be. It's kind of funny. Yeah. I think Kaminga, really I don't know if I'd go he's a Draymond clone. I think. But, but that's Same what they're like Moody. trying to – they're trying to make him into – that. I guess he's so much more talented offensively than Draymond yeah. ever was, though. Even That's when Draymond sure. was good on offense, yeah. no, like, for sure. Draymond was it, cool at Michigan State, but like Kaminga's athleticism is otherworldly. So it's just funny how like when you it's just one game, but like when you watch like how they try to play, it's like like you said, like Moody came in firing. That's like Clay Thompson. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And like Kaminga comes burner. in and try. Kaminga comes in trying to like run the offense and push transition and like. Okay, I see what you're saying. I see what yeah. you're saying. I'm not saying that like I'm just saying like from a person that watches all their games, and and looks as like you can see that like it looks like they're trying to put them into those molds and like yeah kind of get catch lightning twice you know at least yeah. a blueprint I mean, yeah yeah like, JP is a Steph clone yeah. that one's spot on. <laughs> He's a step. The first two, the first two, the first two threes he hit last night. I was like, yo, this guy is awful. (laughs) He's He's like, I got paid. I don't care. He's so he's so crazy, bro. He's so crazy. That is so nuts. Good for him. Uh, So what do we think in the Western Conference? Do we think like obviously we're pretty much anointing the Warriors, but like I know that a lot of the GMs had like Memphis and the Clippers, like two, three. Like, do we feel like Memphis got a nice little win in overtime today? Yeah. Do we do we think like that the Memphis is going to keep rising, or they're going to stumble, or do you think the Clippers are going to be able to make some kind of headway as far as like getting back to competing? I think it's just Clippers' health. That's really what I, th- I think that they can be. I think they can be if they can. I think they can push for the number one seed in the West. To be honest. I don't but, think the Warriors will be the number one seed in the West. I don't. They don't really. They don't really care about the regular season. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, like, I'm just being honest. Like, I think realistically, Warriors probably end up like three again. And you think Memphis? So what, you think like yeah. fights for one? I feel like Ja the way I think Ja Memphis was will be up there. I yeah. think Den- I think Denver will be in the mix. Just like no, I don't. I, don't I said I'm not on the hype. I said I'm not on the hype train, but like Jokic is still Jokic. Like Murray's well, gonna be healthy and be good. Like they're they're gonna be up there. They have the most talent. Top yeah, to bottom. they're nice. Like they're Bones nice. Highland is crazy. Yeah. Like if Michael Porter is healthy, like he's six ten playing the three. Yeah. Like you have Aaron Gordon. You have like they have the most talent. I don't. Yeah, I think honestly, I think like teams like Memphis and them will go for it. Yeah, because they want the home court advantage. Exactly, and, yeah. and I think, like, the Warriors and the Clippers, like, Kawhi's going to load manage a lot. PG's probably not going to play 70 games. Like, they're not going to – like, they're going to – they're going to – like, because they know they're nice. They know they can win on the road. They got veterans that have done it before. Like, and they even, don't need the home court. Yeah. And even last year, the Warriors, like, I mean, Draymond's older. He got banged up. Like, Steph is older. He got banged up. Yeah, what, do you up. only play, like, 40 games, right? Yeah. That's just the craziest. Oh my gosh! See, like I, I, I was so confident they were gonna win the the chip all year last long, but like going into the playoffs, Steph Clay and Dre only played eleven minutes together before yeah. game one against uh, who was that? Who did they play round one? Why am I blanking? Denver? Yeah, Denver. Yeah. What the six seed was. Yeah, it was Denver. That's so like it's crazy, but nah. I mean, I think top of the West, Golden State, L.A. Denver, Memphis. I think Pelicans are going to be in the mix. Yeah, I was going to say Pelicans. What about Phoenix? <laughs> and Dallas. They're going to – it's year four for CP. Say. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what about Dallas? Dallas is There's smacking so much Phoenix talent. right now. There's so much yeah. talent. Man. Um, I, like, I forgot – I literally forgot about those two, and they were – And probably. Sacramento. Okay, relax. We'll give Sacramento 10. Maybe. Can we get nine? Can we get nine at least? <laughs> I don't know. I can't go on nine. They're yet. not gonna there's no too I, many, there's too much talent. Well, I, I have mean, to stick to my guns on that one, Luke. You know why though. Yeah, I know. But oh, so bonus down the my bad. Um <laughs> <laughs> my thing my thing with Phoenix, my thing with Phoenix is DeAndre Ayton does not want to be there. 
Yeah. It's it's the year four of the Chris Paul project. Jared and I have talked about that. Yeah. Year four is usually he when it goes well south. Now. Yeah. And how much, how much longer does they, Chris like, Paul have? Do they have do they have a lot of depth? Like Jay Crowder still is Jay Crowder. He's not. No, playing, he's right? not playing. He, yeah. He's he's beefing over the contract, so he's he's not even with the team. Him, he's holding out. Our guy Damian Lee's getting heavy rotation minutes, and I love Damian Lee, but Warriors yeah. Twitter hated that guy last year. I don't know why. It's I mean it's nah, the nepotism of it, but I like. Damian. I think he's good. He's a good role player. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, the other thing is that we've seen it before. Like the the Navs are good, but like there's just so much. Like Luca just has to do so much. Yeah. Like. So but that's I think like he's proven to a point he can do that. He can do he it. Can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, he can do the it. stuff I saw last year when I was at the games, it's like. <laughs> Did oh you see the God. shot today? Did you see yes. the No, I haven't yes. seen anything today. Bro. Oh, my gosh. I thought he traveled. No, it was he's so, insane. It was so dirty. Jared, it was like essentially a replica of what he did to Cam Johnson last year, that bump that bump fade. And oh. then when he went – no, but when he goes to the bump fade, like after this – it was like spin, bump, fade. Bro jumps up and under. Just, it, it was so dirty. It was so dirty. Yeah. This guy's good, man. Good. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is like I feel like he can – do it like but you look at i guess uh i wouldn't say they have more talent this year they're probably better put together this year for a playoff run with javel and seawood and now like spencer spencer's, spencer's gonna start so like they're better put together for the playoffs but like we saw what the warriors did to them though you know like like yeah. you're gonna put up you're just gonna put like like if they run into the clippers or they run into the warriors in the second round it, it's it's just gonna be tough because they're Luka just gonna... is a clipper killer though. <laughs> he is, but like if Kawhi Bro, and Paul was... George are healthy though, by the numbers true. too, Luca was killing last year. Like the, I remember, I was at the he game. Should've Bro, had... He should have won MVP. He should have won MVP. Going crazy. What? He should have won MVP. Him they're losing Devin by Booker twenty. Should have won MVP. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying in that series with the Warriors. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Bro was going like numbers Stupid. was crazy, but it just didn't matter. But like just... that's like that's that was Golden State's thing. They were like, we're gonna. We're gonna put yeah. Wiggins on. We're gonna put Wiggins on him for four quarters, make his life hell. He's still gonna get his thirty-five. Nobody else oh, can do anything. We're gonna yeah, win. Nothing, nothing That's where else. I think like it will be a little different this year because they're better suited to deal with it. Like, um, someone has to help him. Like he needs Spencer's good enough. And he is. He is. Yeah, yeah I don't think have Brunson no more. Yeah, no Brunson, but like Spencer's bigger and he he's good. He's a good passer. I I think the other thing too is like how are like, how is Doe going to shoot? Is Kleba going to catch fire again? And, yeah, like, is Bertons is Bertons going to be serviceable? Like, or if Bertons isn't going to be serviceable, is Seawood going to shoot well enough to, like, keep the floor yeah. space and, like, have him play the small ball five, essentially? Yeah. Like, you sit, sit in the gi and then you put, like, you would go, like, um, like Kleba at the four, Seawood at the five, Doe at the three, and then Luca and Spencer. So then you literally have five shooters out there and yeah. good switchable defenders. But like anybody else, like I think – well, I've talked to you guys both about this. I have this theory that to win in the playoffs or to make it to the playoffs and make a deep run, your best player has to impact the game on more than three levels. And I think that's where like – Luca struggled. Well, that's that's um that's what Charles where Barkley De- was saying yeah. about um Jokic last year in the playoffs because yeah. everyone was like, "Well, look at Jokic's numbers. You can't say that he wasn't like doing what he needed to do." And Barkley was like, "I'm not saying he's not putting up the numbers. It's just what he is doing is not impactful on the team winning. Like it's just yeah. like like you look at like when LeBron started winning in the playoffs. Like <laughs> like let's take let's take Miami LeBron right." when he finally actually, like, really was going to win. Like, I know he had his crazy series against the Pistons, and, like, they went to the finals and they got swept. But, like, bro was – that's when his chase down blocks were, like, terrifying. Yeah. And that's when he was really starting to score while doing all the passing, while guarding the best offensive per- perimeter player, like, and rebounding and drawing fouls. Yeah, like, he I does it at, all. I look so- at, like, Jokic. Like, Jokic – Probably, I I don't want to I don't want to I don't have the numbers so 
I wouldn't say he shoots enough free throws or gets enough. Like, he doesn't get you in the bonus early enough as, like, the number one, like, as the ball runs through him. And then defensively, it's hard if you're not Rudy Gobert playing center to be super impactful defensively. Yeah. yeah. That's why Denver will be better, though, because they can go through Jamal Murray. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm glad you're bringing it. Well, I know we were going to talk about this, not to step on your toes or anything, no, but no, talk about – uh, impacting on all three of those levels and everything. That's why, and this might be a crazy, crazy statement, but that's why I think MVP pick Jason Tatum because that's a guy that's gonna he's gonna want to defend the best player on the other team. It's either him or Jay Brown. He's gonna you saw what he does last night. Yeah, bro had like thirty five and thirteen. Well, like yeah, come good on. percentage. Like tough. I yeah. think I think I I mean I know you kind of said we were gonna talk about it a little bit, but also know. a good transition into. Awesome. To what we think of the Eastern Conference, the East is like everybody always talks about how oh, it could, like teams are getting better, but it's going to come down to the Bucks and the Celtics. I never ever will believe in the Sixers. You don't believe in Miami? No, they don't have enough scoring. Yeah, like you don't think Tyler Hero is the guy? I think that's. Uh... <laughs> what do you think about Tyler Hero, Jared? I think Tyler Hill is really good, really, really good. But scoring 20 a game and giving up 25 on the other end is well, I, tough. I just like my – like they have Jimmy. They have Jimmy, Bam. If Jimmy's your best – is he's your number one option scoring-wise, it's just not sustainable. Yeah, that's yep. true. But, they're good, though, and they have such a good coach. No, I think, I think they're, what like they we, bring, like, like they were – go ahead, Luke. Their culture is like going to be hard to beat, but that's not only going to take you so far in the playoffs. That's in the in the regular season. Like, right. That's why I love I love Spo. Like, I've met him. He's like super cool dude. Like, he came up in the player development like way. Like, and the fact that Pat Riley backed him when LeBron and them wanted to fire him when they were struggling. Like, yeah. He he's he's legit. He's he's one of the best coaches. It's just one of their players has to take a big leap offensively like Tyler's gonna give you 20 that's great but like Jimmy's kind of tapped out to me like Jimmy's not gonna give you 32 or 29 he's gonna give you 22 to 23 yeah he's a real playoff riser though D- agreed but like Bam's got to get up into the 19 to 20 range Bam needs to I think that's the step because like we're forgetting like if Jimmy hits the pull-up transition three like they're in the finals and Boston's not like they're right they're right there I, I think they're really good yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I, I, I agree with that. That's a really good point, Tom. I think they, I think they get smacked by the Warriors, though. Okay, but what about the Bucks? I do think they get smacked by the Warriors too. If, but if the Warriors Chris, are different, if Chris so. Mill, I mean, yeah, if Chris Mills is not hurt, it's a different story. But it's like the same thing we talk about. Like if KD has what they say, if KD had a size fourteen shoe, then yeah, the Bucks don't win a finals. So yeah, yeah. So it's like all that stuff is tough to to talk about, but. The the reality is the Bucks have the best player in the Eastern Conference. The best player in the league. They got the best player in the world. Yeah. I mean, you can say him. I mean, I'm saying like for their team, like him or Luca is like, you know. Or Steph. Right now. Or Steph, right? Yeah. Like I can't take it away from Steph because he led the league in scoring last year and they won a championship. He didn't lead the league in scoring, did he? That was two years ago. You sure? Yeah, last year it was uh it was Braun, right? I don't know, to be honest. I can look it up. It was Braun. It was it was Braun was either seconds and who else was up there? I am I blanking on this. Was Giannis up there? I don't even know. No, Braun was second. I know Braun averaged like thirty a game. Steph, it was the year. There was like the weird COVID year where the season was early. Like that's when Steph. He and was Brad the, Beal the play in tournament. Won. Warriors was when. Yeah, that's when, when he led those league scoring. He was like yeah. thirty two a game that year. Uh, let's see, 21, 22 points I'm, per game. I'm telling you, it was Bron and someone else. Oh no, it was Joel Embiid at thirty. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was way off. That's my bad. That was must have been the year before. Yeah, yeah it was the year before because that's okay. when he literally had the. It was insane. Yeah, that yeah. was yeah, oh that God, was thirty two. Yeah, he averaged thirty two the year before. Yeah. Uh, last bad. year was Embiid at thirty, Giannis twenty thirty, Luca twenty eight, Trey Young twenty. Dang, Trey Young averaged twenty eight. Brown wasn't up there. I'm tripping. Uh, no. I'm 
traded. Yeah, LeBron. Wait, why is LeBron's name not here? Nah, I used that for right. it. He was okay, so, anyways. MVP picks then. <laughs> try to be not, try to try not to be biased. I'll I'll be last. I'll be last. But uh, you so you're saying Jason Tatum, Luke? Yeah, that's my pick. It might be a, it might be a crazy one, but I don't know. I just think, in terms of in the way the NBA is moving, where you you see them wanting to give these awards to like more up and coming, like not necessarily the like the LeBron pick every year, like people talk about. I yeah. think Jason Tatum is that's my pick. I'm gonna say, I don't know. It's so hard because like if the Warriors like. If the Warriors like take it seriously and they play games like Steph should win MVP, Steph should have won MVP two years ago. I mean, that's what everyone says about LeBron. For sure, yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Luke is gonna get his first MVP this year. I think I think they're gonna be I think they're gonna win more games than we think, and Luke is just gonna be Luca. So, I like it. Um, go ahead. You said you got Jason Tatum, Luke. Yeah, I'm gonna go Luca just because. Um... Not so much of what Tommy said, but just like the history tells us that it's gonna be someone new. It's gonna be, but it's and it's about the story, right? It's like you gotta be able to write the narrative is everything. So it's like Luca pretty much was showing in the playoffs last year that he could, like he was really that guy. And then this year, like his team got, I would say, team got better. They're gonna win more games, and I think like his stats are going to continue to rise because now he's in year four. Yeah. yeah. So this is like the big jump year. Uh, and so I think, I think Luca, Jason Tatum's a great pick. For um, sure. I also like, uh, um, I think that um, MB could win if they yeah. win enough games. I can't watch them play basketball, bro. They're, bro, it's yeah, so bad. It's the like ISO fun. ball. <laughs> it's crazy because Tyrese Maxey's really good. He's so good. But it's literally just like who's gonna go one on one this time, Harden, Maxi, or Embiid. That's literally their offense. Well, and it's like, and it's like Boston went up like what nine, eleven to like two in the game yesterday, and then James gets fouled on a three pointer, lays there, make him review for a flagrant. Next possession, Embiid. Don't know if he got hit in the face. Acted like he gets hit in the face, lays there. Like they just make the game so unwatchable and slow, and it's yeah. Like, like bro, like that game. Like, what time did the Warriors game start? Nine. It was supposed to start at eight. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, what? You're an hour ahead, aren't you? I'm an hour ahead. It was supposed to start at eight here, but like, all I know is like, I, I had to leave for a, a meeting at like seven forty-five, and it was still the third quarter of yeah. the seventy-six year Celtics game because there were so many fouls and stoppages in that in that first that first minute of the third quarter when Smart like tripped Embiid. And yeah. it took like ten minutes to review it. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, so, unwatchable. I can't watch that. Uh, I disagree with you. I think yeah. Boston's gonna win the East though in the regular season. Again, talk about the storyline there too, though. Yeah, yeah for real. Yeah, he yeah, could win Coach the, of the Year. They're so nice, bro. And Malcolm Brogdon might have been the most underrated pickup of the offseason. Like he is, he is really good. And he, he, I think, I think he's better than Derek White, but I don't know. Different players, different yeah, players for sure. But like, I feel like Brogdon gives him something different. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, Derek White's really good, though. I, so. I'm gonna go with the Bucks. I think the Bucks will win the East. I agree. I think it's gonna be but, the Bucks, but I think the Celtics are gonna be right there. Yeah, so it's gonna be right there, and I like Toronto. They're good. You think they can win it though? To win though? No, no. I mean, no, no. I, I'm saying I like Toronto. I'm saying they they could be in the mix, like for top four seed. They just have okay. a lot of like. They don't have like. Like, do you think Scotty's? A, do you think? Do you think Pascal or Scotty is like a star? Yes. So I was watching their last preseason game, and they're like letting Scotty run offense. He and he was and he was hitting. He was hitting threes. Like guys were trying to go under ball screens. He was like. He's cashing them. It was like, yeah. if he's doing that, like I look at them like, not this. This might sound crazy to say it this way, but like, they have the guys like Scotty and OG that could literally take Jalen and Jason out of the game. Yeah, yeah. No, they do. Like, not to say that it would happen for four games, 
for sure. But like, they have it in them to do it. They just, yeah. you know, if and you it's, need, you're gonna need Fred and Pascal to, yeah, pick it it's up hard. It's just hard to find. Like, like literally, Scotty can just match up with Jason. Yeah, he's he's like, legit. He's legit on defense. Malachi is still there too, right? Yeah. And he's, he's gonna nice. play. He's gonna he's play this nice. year. He's hella good. Yeah, Malachi, he didn't get to play yeah. much, but he's gonna play. Yeah, they just have they bro. They just have so many just like solid players, and like they. Yeah. I think their chemistry is like crazy. Yeah, because weren't they all? Weren't they all at the uh, the Rico Hines runs together, only playing because, with each other all summer well, long? Yeah. So like so yeah. So DJ was in those. So because Rico's, I don't know if you know, Rico's not with the Kings. He's with the Raptors now. I knew yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, they would always have a Raptors five. Yeah, and they were – and, like, yeah. you watch those videos, like, they were they were carving them up out there. Like, they were always on yeah. the winner's court. Yeah, no, they're they're good. So, yeah, I think that. And I think I think Warriors in the West, I mean, I, I you could make a case for a lot of different teams in the West, but, like, I just think it's going to be Warriors-Bucks. That's what it was supposed to be two years ago. I think that's what it will be. Last year, you mean? Yeah, last year. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, last year. I guess. Yeah, because two years ago, that no, I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, two, I, mean like was I mean, like, two finals ago. So, like, the new finals coming up. Okay. I, I, yeah, it's I, a weird I, way of saying it. But yeah, right. I said it. I said it. Yeah, weird. It's definitely an interesting approach to it. But yeah. um, and then who do we have winning Rookie of the Year? Maul said, "Paulo, you're gonna go, Keegan." Luke. Um, I honestly look. I know it sounds crazy, and I, I actually have a real case for it. So w- it, I think he's talented enough to do so. It just depends on if the Kings actually like. Let's say the Kings do sneak into either the play in or even a playoff spot, and he performs at the level that he's shown he can. I think he has a strong case to be the rookie of the year. But I do think Paolo is going to put up some nuts numbers. But I think if oh, the- twenty five five and five tonight. Bro, it was like 27, I thought. Is that what it was? I just saw Bro. that he was the first rookie since, since Kareem Braun. Braun to do 25, 5, and 5. Yeah. No, I think I think that's going to be a hard case. But I think you, we talk about the storyline with these awards. I think if if the Kings, like obviously me being optimistic, do make that run and he's an integral part of that, it's going to be hard for him. If the win. Kings are good, it's going to be because Keegan Murray's good, so he's going to win. Yeah. I have a more interesting pick after watching some of the Summer League and watching preseason. I think Dyson Daniels is going to win it. Really? Did he? What was his? Did he play tonight? I don't know if he played tonight, but like, bro, they were letting him go. Yeah, and yeah, like, he's, he's and they don't. Stuff. Yeah, like, and he's got some in his game, and they're gonna win enough games to where they're gonna make the playoffs. Like the year Keys got drafted, Malcolm Brogdon won as right. a second round pick. He averaged like thirteen, but the Bucks were like a four seed. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah. I think that part is gonna like in that voting I think that will make us make a difference. That's a good pick. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say Keegan Murray too. I really like Keegan. Yeah, Murray. I think that, I think that, that's really a great good. pick. Yeah. But I, I I'm like I will not be surprised if Paulo wins. It. Like yeah, yeah I agree. just pure I agree. numbers. Yeah, he's, he's so good. Like, did you see his dunk tonight? <laughs> I haven't Dare, seen Dare it didn't yet, see it, so but I'm going to watch it. Nasty, bro. <laughs> this guy's Corey crazy. Joseph thinking. Yeah, no, you can't uh, do that. Like, it's, it's funny because the dude, like, we talked we talk about earlier. Like, if you have a 6'9", 6'10", guy that can handle and operate, like, it's tough. Rap, like, that's the most important thing. Like, you have to – like, because they're going to play him at the power forward – but like he's probably more of a small forward build and like game than a power yeah. forward nah, and like yeah like they they talked about like when he was in Seattle and developing and stuff and like um you know they let him anytime he played with the pros like they let him handle the ball and I think that played a big role and then he just he did his thing shout out Dark Knight Mike his trainer <laughs> in Seattle. Yeah, but no, I think, you know, the talent that Paulo has is, like, undeniable. And we'll kind of, like, shift into our next part of conversation and the way to get a Paulo Bancaro. You got to lose a lot of games. Yeah. A lot of games. Antonio. For a, a couple years. Because I think – I want to say that Orlando has had six top four picks in a row. Yeah. yeah. They're crazy. <laughs> Like it's been pretty bad, but 
is that what we want to talk about is kind of like our thoughts on or what people think about whole tanking idea for for big time prospects. Obviously, Victor Wimbanyana is clearly going to be the number one pick. And if you weren't sure and you watch any of their games in Vegas, it's pretty clear now. And now he's just like blowing up. Yeah. Which like things that I think mo- like 99% of NBA people already knew. And why I think like a team like San Antonio has like already started the process two years ago. Yeah. They must they have, they must have not, they must have had a scout out there. I mean, they have to. I mean, right there, they the knew. kings of international. Yeah, they players. had to just know. Like, because they started selling like <laughs> last year, they were giving money away because they had to get to the floor of of salary gap. Yeah, bro. That's nuts. That's I mean, actually yeah, it's just crazy because like it's no guarantee that they're gonna get him. So yeah, I know. Yeah, but and, okay. So let's say you're a team that's doing that. You've already traded away and everything. Let's say you do you lose what you need to lose, but then you get the third pick. Do you now trade again to get the first? Like you've gone gone all this way just to get Victor. You just example. but you don't have the assets. That's the yeah, problem. That's that what point. I'm saying though. Like at that point, what do you do? Like you just rock well, with three and you hope that there's enough. Like you hope you get John Morant. <laughs> That's I mean, like the, crazy. The, the I mean, Thompson, Scoot's pretty. Scoot's like Thompson good, twins. I mean, he's crazy though. So, yeah, I will say that too. This draft, this draft class is nutty. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Because Scoot Henderson is also really. Yeah, he good. looks. He looks real good. Yeah, he looks. Good. And there was some people that were saying like he's more impactful because he is a guard. That like you Bro. wouldn't be mad if you took him at one, and I'm okay. like, you guys are nah. nuts. Nah, I don't even care, bro. The way that Victor was just running the into way he his moves. shots, I'm like, he's bro, not a human this being, is bro. Not okay, this should he's not be not, okay. He's not a he, he's not a real human being. Like yeah. when you're out there just towering over Rudy Gobert, it's like, bro, what and are shooting we shooting transition? I was just gonna like say that you're towering over Rudy Gobert and you're sprinting off pin downs, like getting getting That's the insane. left right in today's NBA. Yeah, he's he's gonna be scary good. The tough thing for him, I think, will be if we're talking about him specifically, is like transitioning to in the NBA as opposed to playing in Europe. Like the entire offense and defense is like focused on you. Yeah. So like, because there's going to be enough film out by the time he's 15 games in, that good coach, the good teams are going to start taking stuff away. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think he's going to be just fine. I think for him, yeah. it's, it's health. He just yeah. needs to get healthy. I agree, one hundred percent. True, but it, on the same note, like since we're talking about it, I, I think, I think that it's like fool's gold, because there's a lot of teams. Like even if we look in the last ten years or even the last five years, like how many teams that won had won with a number one overall pick, and it's pretty much just the Heat. Yeah, and they didn't even craft him. Right, what we got going on here? So, Jesus. Um, like any difficulties? That was a shout out ZP calling while uh, we're on the pod. Uh, he probably wanted to tell normal. me something that wasn't pod worth, like <laughs> yeah, pod <I'll> appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, like I was, I was yeah, thinking that's about a this. good point though, Jared. Like. The number one pick doesn't always, but like you it just, never, it almost never does. Yeah. It almost never does. Like you can literally say, like it. I thought about this driving home. Is that okay? Who was one that really created a dynasty? Tim Duncan is the only one where they tanked, they got the number one pick, and then Tim Duncan won five. But so Manu, maybe Victor's the next Tim. But Manu was a second round pick, but, Hall of Fame. Yeah, things like, obviously Tony have Parker, to fall into right. But I'm saying that nobody was taking Tony Parker with a 28th pick other than them. Yeah, I mean, a lot of things so have like, to go your way. But also with this whole tanky thing we're talking about, can't you almost, like, now plan better than, like, if you were just losing? You get what I'm saying? Like, you can plan mm-hmm. into how, okay, I'm going to lose and have these people so that when the time does come that we get the prospect we want, then we don't have too far to go to get to that winning point that you're talking about. Rather than we just suck, we just picked up the best player in the draft, but we're still going to suck because... I think that's what OKC is doing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, you got to give it to Sam Presti. I mean, he drafted three MVPs in a row. 
Like, yeah, he's elite. <laughs> he's Yo, elite. Kevin Herter has a burner. My fault. <laughs> Can we you not? Were, you were hating on him earlier. I'm just saying. No, that's what it took. That's what it took. It's yeah. a good score. Uh, 94, 94. Oh, 96, 94. Kevin oh, Herter's like down. six for seven from three. Well, anyway, Sam Presti is an elite GM for sure. He, he is, but like they never won. So that's on yeah, like, exactly. like, and even then they never had number one pick. So like, we're not like they had two and Russ was what? Four. James was four, three. Yeah. But I, I think I really think it's fool's gold, and I think that's that's why I'm excited for them to allow high school players to come back in the draft when they lift the age the age limit, because I feel like a lot of teams in general they're just like they do lazy drafting. Yeah, like you just they don't actually do their homework and like really figure out like okay because so much of it is like. Like, you got to have dudes that want to be great. Yeah. Like, no matter talent or any of that stuff, like, Anthony Bennett was talented. But that dude did not want to be great. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> like, like nothing against him, but, like, he didn't have the same drive that, like, a Dame, even, in, like, someone like that, like Dame Lillard or yeah. Jason Tatum, you know, like – you have to like, and that's to me, it's not hard to find out. Like, I've been with you guys since you guys were in middle school, but I could tell from the first workout with Luke and the first workout with Tommy, like at sixth grade and ninth grade, that like you're going to be really good at basketball. Yeah. If you, if you, if you stick with it, you know? Yeah. Just the desire to get better. 100%. You got to have it. What my question would be is, you say it's fool's gold. Is it fool's gold this year, though? No, but yeah. but but at the same time, like the Spurs have eight. If they get him, let's just say the Spurs get him. They have a ton of work to even get back to yeah, competing. They won't. Yeah. So, so I'm saying so. I trust so what's the, that organization to do it. Well, though. yeah, of course, yeah. But like, what's what are you really chasing? You're chasing championships. So it's like. Is is this like we'll talk about? No offense, Luke, but your Kings like, what are, are we on the thirty year plan? Like, what are we doing out here? <laughs> oh, I wish I knew. I think it's just a lot of hunger, a lot of drive, a lot of optimism. <laughs> uh, That's all you have left. Talk optimism. about a franchise. Like, or look at like the Warriors are really hopelessly only, optimistic, is the way I put it. The the Warriors, okay, dynasty of the last whatever ten years. I mean, Steph was seven. Yeah. Like Clay was 11, like Draymond was 34, like like and then Draymond even then is Jordan Poole who was 28, so. Yeah, and then even then like you pick up like we could go down the line of any team needs those guys like where the it's not just about the draft picks, it's about learning which guys to get the Sean Livingstons, the Leandro Barbosas, the Kevon Looney's, like you need those guys yeah. to win. So it's like as much as great as LeBron was and as great as what he did for Cleveland, like they just were never able to find those other pieces to put around him to win the first time before he went to Miami. Yep. For sure. And I think obviously some of his is, is the player and some of it is like, so we go to Luca, right? Like Luca's looks like he's going to be the next one, but like, we don't know if, and he wasn't even one overall, but like, we don't know if, if they're going to be able to like cash in on that top five pick. Cause that's when like they, they Dirk retired and then they're like, we're just going to be terrible and see how it goes. And then they were terrible for two years. Yeah. It's weird. And then they got Luca and really they got lucky because the Kings should have Luca, but we're not going to talk about that. Either. It's a tough, yeah, it's, it's a tough good. concept. It's a tough concept for sure. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think like, it's just like the whole, we talked about this before, like, John Morant looks amazing, but no one in their right mind is passing on Zion. Yeah. Like yeah. you just chalk just, that yeah. up. Like, and even then, if Zion's healthy, he's gonna he's gonna be on the same level. So um I have one more question for you guys, both of you personally. Uh, just because we're kind of just chopping up about everything. 
I'm try, it's my my struggle to word this the right way, but do you think, and either of you guys can answer first, what do you think was different about your preparation, daily preparation, that allowed you to be successful at the level you have been and to get to the level where you're at? Like, what do you think, like, what do you think you guys had that made a difference? What mentality did you adopt to like for your level of preparation? Cause that's a big thing for both of you guys, like your guys ability to prepare and your like dedication to preparing is like second to none. Go ahead, Luke. Um, I mean, I feel like that's kind of a big question to just answer off, off rip, but I would say just like, and I think this goes for both Tommy and I, and like you can attest to this over the summers when we're with you every single day. That's fun for us. Like the preparation is what's fun. Like that's not, I don't look at it as work. I don't look at it as like grind. Like that's, that's the fun part. And like the part that comes later, which is that work coming to fruition during games when the lights are on, that's just like, that's what I expect to happen at that point. So I think the part it's like, it's pure enjoyment. It's pure love for, just putting nose to the rock and going like it's not work to me it's just fun i don't know if that no, answers that's kind of what you're going no, for putting the nose on the grindstone and just yeah working. like it's not it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's a, like i don't feel like when you're telling when you text us every summer like over the over the summer every day like oh we're going at 9 30 tomorrow that's not like a damn i got i gotta wake up and work tomorrow it's yeah, like all right bet we're going to jared's at 9 yeah. 30 tomorrow you know what i mean like that's it's so not true. a so like when i come home when I come home in the summers now in, in May, like, like come home and like, obviously I want to see my friends or whatever, but they're like, like I'm, I'm coming home to work. Like, and like, we'll be doing things. And I'm like, Oh, like, sorry. Like it's a weekday. Like I got to go work out at 12 tomorrow. Like that's like, that's why I'm here. Yeah. And I think that's, I think because like, obviously my parents don't live there anymore. So I come back, I come back literally just to work. And, but like, it's like Luke saying, like, it's not, it's not work. Like, I like hanging out with, I like hanging out with you guys and getting better with you guys. Like it's just fun. And that's how it was in high school. Like go to school, come home, go to the gym for two hours, like just every single day, like always in the lab. Like it's, and I think that goes just for everybody that is successful in their sports. Like that's what it has to be. And that's the type of preparation you have to take. I would also say you did a good job by, with this, with us specifically is like, I think you made me realize what like it wasn't gonna take me being in the gym like five hours a day or whatever but if I was in there for an hour like that was gonna be an hour that was gonna directly translate to the game so whatever I was doing it was gonna be at a certain speed at a certain like intensity and so that that hour was gonna be beneficial no matter what and so like it was gonna no matter what carry over thanks man so Tommy to kind of go off of um, what you were saying like so it not being work in your guys mind was even when you had bad days what was it that still drove you guys to come back like I guess that's because I think like I'm talking because I've been thinking about a lot like for people that don't know or not where we're in Sacramento Sacramento has high school dead period right now. It's literally a three week period where the coaches aren't allowed to do anything. And it's a time where like I get really busy and there's all these kids that come in or people I haven't trained before that or kids that did train and then disappeared or whatever, did their thing in the summertime. But like, they feel like I'm going to take these three weeks to prepare for a six or seven month season. And like, yeah. I'm going to be okay. Do it so like, like Right. We know you can't. Obviously, you guys know that. But I feel like there's a lot of people that don't understand that. And I think one thing that stops people from being consistent is like having bad days or having days where they get cooked in ones or they play bad or they get dunked on or they get crossed or like whatever. Or like maybe it's just not as fun. Like what Luke said, like it's fun for me. Like maybe they have cold days like like what you said, like, oh, God, I got to go to work out. And what do you think, like, you guys, like, what was your thought process, like, when you had the bad days? And, like, how did you guys keep coming back? Or what do you think sparked you to keep coming back? I mean, for me, like, I think it, I think it stems from where my basketball career began. 
So like all I knew in basketball when I started taking it seriously was bad days because all I did was keep getting cut from every team that I tried out for. So like I think that I developed the understanding that there's going to be probably more bad days than there are good when you're working in the summer because that's the only way you're going to get better. And I think that's the way like especially when I started working out with Luke, Will, GB, Chris, all the older older guys like I know I'm going to come in here and get my ass kicked for however long we play for. But I'm not like if I'm if I'm going against guys my age and I'm cooking like am I really getting better, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I have to have a bad day to take the next step. And that's, that's, and a lot of people don't realize that, but I feel like once you understand that, that's when you'll be able to take the next step. And like, you still have bad days all the time. I, I still, I have bad days all the time, but like, and yeah, it sucks at the moment, but then I take a step back to realize like, if I'm not making mistakes and not doing things wrong, I'm really not getting better and pushing myself. I'd agree. I was going to say like, embrace it. Like, I, I think. Mo- I don't really have like specific moments with with you, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, you don't have but, to. Yeah, for but sure. I think. Well, I was gonna say that the year that I was redshirting, like I had bad days being on the scout team. Like, I mean, we all have days when the shots not falling or whatever, and like I, you kind of just <clears> like <throat> itch to get back on the court the next day. It's like one hundred percent. Yeah, like, that's it, a it, huge part. Yeah. So it, like, yeah, I had a bad day, but like that's the beauty of the game, especially at this level. Is like we're going to be going every single day for nine months of the year. And then during those three months, I'm in the gym with you guys. Like same thing. I'm going to have a bad day. And one's like, I want to come and kill Jerry the next day. Like Jared knows that he's seen it firsthand (laughs) because he'll let me hear it too. He knows he's feeling it. So it's like, you've seen it firsthand this summer. Like all summer, like you have a bet. Like I, I know it's one. I remember one specific day. I had a horrible day and threes. I came back the next day and I didn't miss a shot. Jerry yeah. was hot because I wasn't on his team the next day. Yeah. Like, no, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you gotta, you kind of just have to embrace it. And like, I think, at, yeah, that's like what Tom said. Like, you're not gonna get better unless you have that because it's not gonna be pretty every like you, especially in like at I keep saying at this level. But like, there's gonna be games when like your whole team can't find a bucket. Like, and that's where those bad days are gonna kick in. Like, are you gonna sit down and get a stop? Are you gonna get this rebound? Like, those things are gonna win rather than oh, I, I was 0 for 5 today, like, okay, yeah. so, like, can you make your, whoever you're playing against go 0 for 6, and you'll win the I game. Like, that, there is and I, beauty in the struggle. Yeah, shout out. I think, yeah. like, that's the thing where I think, I look at myself, and I look at you guys, especially Tommy, because Tommy's, Tommy's very vocal when he's having <laughs> bad days. When he's having good days, he doesn't say much, but when he's having bad days, like, the Tommy is is very loud. It's a lot of negative like, self-talk. Right. Yeah, it's, <laughs> That's no, why, I'm on Tommy. That's why, I get on that's, Tommy. That's on why the golf team. Like, I'm really worried about. I'm, I'm really worried about the golf game because the negative soft talk. It's a different realm. That's a different realm. So but, but I don't take neg- golf the, serious. But the negative soft talk in golf is just a killer. I can tell you from first hand experience. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I've seen basketball too. Up. It, it'll but, take Jared half a hole to end around. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, bro, Tommy. I, I hope I don't do this when we play. Like I'm being 100 serious. There'd be times where like I would duff a shot, like or like shot would go like I w- it would go like 40 yards right or 50 I yards know what you're about to say because luke's told me <laughs> no 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 i don't think he said this Weird. no 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 i would be like third person talk is crazy no i would literally i wouldn't even want to get in the cart i would just punish myself by walking to my ball. <laughs> <laughs> nah that's and really like, no, no, the funny thing about this part too is he'll do that and then he'll mess the next shot up and be like i didn't even have the right club i had to walk like <laughs> That's yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Bad days but, suck, man. When I, get, like, when I get three ragers hit over me and I have a hand as high as it can possibly go, like, I'm real angry. Yeah, Tommy's <laughs> quote. quote. Yeah, just effing grow. Yeah, Tommy. Uh, like, my uh, favorite thing to say is, like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. What am I supposed to do? Um, But I wanted to say one thing before we get too far off is that I think that's like the big thing. It's, I'm glad that I asked you guys this because, like, trying to put it into words, like the like the absolute like hunger. If you get like your ass kicked, or you play bad in drills, or like the absolute like pure fire and hunger to just go, like you can't wait to play again. Yeah, like like, it, it, like bro. What was there's been times where like. We'll play like, or I'll, I, I think it's happened with Luke once before. It, my, there was one time with Luke, maybe we're like, I couldn't make a shot. 
We, it was just me and Luke playing once, and Luke was hitting everything. Like we just kept this is my playing. My favorite Jared story. This is my favorite. We just Jared kept story. playing. Oh my god, we just kept we playing. playing. We were playing and, four dribbles from the volleyball on Tommy. I think I won like five straight, and like Jared literally had a client waiting. He was like, "You're gonna wait." Like, yeah. <laughs> it was we, so we, funny. Hey, because yeah, like Tom. Guy. Because, like, I would make – like, I would be open because, like, Luke doesn't play the best defense in general. But, like, summertime, Luke is not great defensively. He wasn't guard. He'll, <laughs> like, tell you. He'll tell but you. But, like, bro, I must have had, like, 12 rim outs. And it would just be, like – it was just, like, the most fluky shots. Like, yeah, I would just, like, oh, man, it was so bad. I was but, like, busting his ass. Yeah, and Luke was hitting. <laughs> I can't, Nothing like, like he, that, though. Like, you just keep losing and you just turn back around, check up. And the, yeah, the guy who's bro. running is like, I'll keep, I'll keep busting your ass. Like, let's go. But like, but like the, the crazy thing is like, I just don't think most people have that. And which is like why yeah, there's a separation, don't. but yeah. like people accept losing or like accept failing. Whereas like you have to like persevere through failing. I feel like is the bigger thing. Cause like, like failing, like, you know, like Luke said, like you have, and like, even talk, like, you have to fail to get better. But like, just i remember like those days where you got cooked like you were just fiending to play the next day and that's how you know that like you really love like getting better and i think to prepare like like shit hits a fan like we all said like i think that's where like the failure for kids to prepare like oh tommy i don't want to like try to put you on the spot or anything but like like this will be your first year eligible to play like I can truly say, like, knowing you, like, you might not play for, like, three weeks straight, but I know you're going to approach practice the same exact way. Ah, for sure. Like, and Luke went through the same thing. And it's like, I just think it's so rare, and I I feel like I, it's like you guys obviously have something mentally that that has helped you develop that, but I think that's, like, the biggest part of it is, like, most kids or players just don't have that. Yeah, and well, I mean, like, you just, like, you got to have that even even keel about you like to be able to be mentally yeah. tough enough to continue to approach practice the same way when things aren't going your way and it's hard like <laughs> yeah. the first person to tell you it's not easy but it's just what you well, got to do i'd also say it makes winning that much sweeter like yeah. you're gonna 100% like, like so yeah and also and I, better I, lose, yeah. so this is i really crazy. hate losing yeah i hate Luke's watching the kings day. lose Bro, you should have put some sleeves on. Yeah, that's it was that's working for us. Is, we were man. literally winning the whole game until the last two minutes. That doesn't that sound like a normal Kings game? No way, no way Lillard has zero fouls. That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh my All god, right. here comes the bargaining. Let's let's move on to this very we want to bang out starting, starting five because I'm be... so locked. I actually want to see the I, just... I haven't seen the full results from last week. Hold on, let me. Oh, did I have a chance or no? I didn't know. No, even... not at all. It was between me and Nick last time I checked. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, it's already over. No, I I posted it this morning, but let's see, let's see. Nick won. Tommy and I both had five. Oh, it was Jared even. Had, no, you well, you lost still. No, I just voted. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys be voting Dang. for yourself too. That's the crazy part. I don't do that. Sometimes I vote for myself. Depends on what the numbers look like. Um, well, but yeah, ones? so Nick, Nick won both. Shout out to Nick. We, he we can, big video we, game guy. We, yeah, we kind of knew Nick. Like, I'm okay with Nick winning that. Yeah, I had a lot of people liking his pick, so congrats. We're ready for this one. I'm eager. Let's. Hey, yeah, so let's I just want to I want to preface that there might be some hurt feelings on this starting five because yeah, there, was some, there was yeah, some chatter you. in the group chat. Uh, my feelings are fine. I'm just saying. Yeah, me too, actually. So There was I some chatter in the group chat. Um, I like my five a lot too. I, I'm Love cool with whoever five. wants to go. I have like I have like a whole squad. Well, Jared go, likes to go, go last. So, Jared, you want to keep going last? I know you like to – well, so here's the thing on this one. So, well, well, you can explain it, but like, my, I'm gonna dive deep into the knowledge here. So, cool. Yeah, we'll All let right. you go last. Uh, we have starting five fictional basketball characters. So, movies, uh, TV shows, whatever it is. Um, Tommy, you want to kick us off? I'll go second. Also, wait. I want to make sure we're on the same page, so so I don't say anything later. If if they're a an actual NBA player playing a different character that's yeah. good or it's not good. No, it's not. We said we said no Penny as Butch McCray, no uh Shaq as Bo whatever his name was. Oh no Jesus in, Shuttlesworth. In, no Jesus no Shuttlesworth. Yeah. But no we do Uncle have to, Drew either. Yeah, no Uncle Drew. We'd have to say, I mean, before we get like I think he got game is probably 
in my opinion, the best basketball my movie favorite ever basketball. made. Yeah, I, do, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see many arguments against that. Yeah, it's my favorite one. Just great storytelling. I just had okay. the poster in the room. Nick can, Nick Vane's gonna attest to that. But yeah. All right, look, uh, Tommy. L- l- I want, l- I want Luke to go first. I want Luke to go. Oh, okay. what? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Tommy, you only get two audibles. Remember, I don't have any. At audibles the there. one, at the one. I already know what he's gonna say. Standing four foot eight. Yeah, Calvin Cambridge. Yeah, <laughs> Calvin Cambridge. Uh, like Mike, I got the Blazers right here. Uh, Wait, you know. uh, uh, like Mike, part one or part two? Part one, part two can. can I had him. See, I had Calvin. I had Calvin in my audibles just in case Luke didn't pick him. But I so I had I had an audible in case someone else picked Calvin. But I'm glad you uh, want to go first. So give me yeah. give me C squared. You know, C bridge. That's, that's nice. what he called that's himself nice. in the movie. Give me Calvin yeah. Cambridge at the two. You two are not going to take this one. I know Tommy's sister is going to appreciate this pick. Give me oh, Nathan no, Scott. Give me Nathan Scott at the two. Um, good pick, man. It's good I don't pack. even know who that is. You don't yeah, know One Tree, Tree Hill? One Tree oh, Hill's God, finest. God, um, losers. What? Do that. Nathan Scott is a goat. This guy, Nathan talk about Scott fighting through goat. adversity. Um, found his way back to the NBA. Emotional moment for all of us. One Tree <laughs> Hillers. Nathan uh, Scott. Nathan Scott. So Nathan Scott at the two. At the three, the original shooter. Jimmy Chitwood out of Hoosiers. I think pick, I think you got pick. to. You got yeah, to. Uh, yeah, I've had the amount of coaches that have called me Jimmy Chitwood. I had to put him. I had to put him some in. Racial so. undertones of that. Okay, that's it's fine. Was. You guys aren't ready for this four pick. I don't think. Give me Jawana Man at four. I think. I think this is one that's gonna. Fly <laughs> I was gonna pick. Radar. I was gonna pick. That was great. <laughs> I think. I, I, I think, that, that's, I think that's, that's a great pick. If we're talking dominance, Jawana Man. Like, come yeah, on. that's a great pick. And then at the five. Also, um, that's a lawsuit, but. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We're talking just purely basketball here. Pick up at the park. Just, you know what I'm just talk. <laughs> at the five. At the five. I think this is a movie that we all were going to tap into at one point. But I no. want Junior Battle at the five from Wait. Coach Carter. Okay. Question. Okay. Now. Okay. 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 Uh, I think that goes against the rules. How? He's a real person. That's a based on. He's a real person. It's a true story. I'll let it go. I will let it go. But he's not like it's not. Ray Allen, you get what I mean? It's but he's a, a movie he's character. a real bad. No, he's not a movie character. He's a real person. That movie, there's he so literally much is a junior battle. Yes, I, I mean they, they changed the names. Changed. Yeah, there they changed the so names. But character. I'm okay. giving him the pick. I like it. I like yeah. it. I'm just okay. Yeah, so junior battle at the five. All right, all right. Go ahead, Tom. At my one, I've got. Well, Jared might be mad at this now because it's a real person. I've got Will Smith at the one. No, nah, I was gonna do that. I like that. I like oh, that. Fresh got, Prince. Yeah, Fresh Prince. Okay. I've got Will Smith at the one. At my two and three, that. holding it down for pure chemistry and electricity. Uh, no, the boys are back. Chad Danforth and Troy yeah. Bolton <laughs> doing the damn uh, thing. Give me you ain't doubled down on that. the high school musical. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm well, doubling Chad Danforth. I hate your generation. Chad That's Danforth a good pick. That's a good pick. Troy Bolton at the three. At the four. Not to interrupt. Wait, can I interrupt you real quick? This is, Troy Bolton's a great pick. Have you seen the golf swing in High School Musical 2 as well? I mean, come on. <laughs> come yeah, I've on. never seen any of those movies. And that's why You're you got to get your Jared. game up. You're missing out, Jared. Generation, the golf swing is very, bro. Hey, Luke, Jared, Jared. Nah, man, I'm not going to say that was a bad yeah. pick. Anyway. Two, four. <laughs> at my four, yeah, Tommy, my, inspiration, my inspiration of some of my workouts this summer with the backwards hat. Give me Billy Hoyle. Yeah. White men can't jump. Great pick. At the Love five. It. I didn't want to go. I'm 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 keeping it real. Just guard play, heavily small ball. I didn't want to take Jared's pick, but I went with downtown funky stuff. Malone, <laughs> semi pro. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't coffee my black. pick. I, I, coffee black. Oh, coffee black. Oh, you <laughs> yeah. could have took. You could have took Jackie. I got. I, was, bro, I, have, I wanted to take Jackie. Then, if you want Jackie, take Jackie. I got ten people on my list. I, I, I fine. I want full set of reserves. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got a full set of reserves, give me Jackie Moon at the starting <laughs> five, just simply for the content. Oh, uh, you guys are gonna that's love a, my walk-on pick, by the way. Oh, uh, that's uh, a great. Jared, I, I love my walk-on pick. Hey, just, just, just to preface, like. Oh, this guy Tommy was so mad about the Zach Efron comment. Like, yeah, Jared Chad. comes in when he all is gonna pick Zach Efron. Like, you're damn right, I'm picking Zach oh, Efron. That's, that's an icon. Oh. oh man, this is yeah. I mean, it's see, I'm such a my movie. It's gonna be hard for me to get off some of these picks, but here I, comes. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I take one guess at who you're gonna put in here? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. 
We've got Leonardo DiCaprio in here for sure. The Basketball Diaries, no? Nah. Wow. Nah. I thought it was coming. He wasn't a real, real movie like that. Buffett. I thought it was coming. Okay, point guard. Let's do this. I got Billy Hoyle. Okay. White man can't jump. Yep. Great pick. I'm glad I didn't do it. Yeah, it's all good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up. So I had Jimmy Chitwood. Not gonna do that. Give me Air Bud. Oh, bad pick. Dude, bro, I'm telling you, Nathan Scott is chopping Air Bud up, bro. <laughs> Air, Bud. Air Bud, Air Bud was my walk on, bro. Bro is. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like okay, it. now this Everybody one is hey, such a good. Pick. So in in Owen fashion, stick with me here, okay? Oh gosh. So at the small forward, I have Lewis Scott. Okay. Okay. Now, for you that don't know, in the movie Celtic Pride, Lewis Scott plays for the Utah Jazz. Is killing the Celtics so bad in the NBA Finals that two Celtics fans actually cre- committed kidnapped a him. felony and kidnapped him. I don't know anybody else that's ever played basketball in the world that has caused people to commit felonies. What's your four? So man? I'm giving Lewis Scott small forward pick. Great pick. I like when Jared calls his picks, great pick. Great pick. It's a great pick. <laughs> great pick. I mean, has, no one's ever tried to kidnap LeBron. I'm sure it has happened. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, who's your four? <laughs> four, we're going, we're going to go, we're going to be small, but um, give me Lola Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lola okay. Bunny. She's at the girl. four. And at the five, uh, there's so many. I have so many, but give me – I can't remember the exact name, but give me the monster that took Charles Barkley's powers. Yeah, I don't think he has a name, but – At the we'll center position. It. I'll find it for the graphic. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. Yeah. like him, Jerry. Charles Barkley monster at the five. All right. My walk-on pick. I wanted to go Air Bud. Didn't think anybody would go Air Bud, so I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go – I'm going to go to the Like Mike movies, but I'm going with Tracy Reynolds. Tracy Reynolds. Yeah. I almost put nice it in the Tracy like Reynolds, the GOAT. So I like that. I like that. Um, I had one, but I switched it last minute. So I'm going to go with the switch. This is one of my favorite actors, but you guys might not be okay with it based on our rules. So I have my backup. Give me Bill Murray in Space Jam. I think he played himself, but he came in and made a vital play in the final. <laughs> He said, I'm going to let boom behind the back pass. Give me Bill Murray in Space Jam. That guy. I love that pick. Off the bench, he didn't even think he was going to make a play. Like, bro, this guy Uh, (laughs) out of the tunnel right when you needed him. I love that pick. That's great. Well, all right. Walk on pick. Like I said, I I did some audibles. Um, I kind of wanted to put Denzel Washington's character in there. But yeah, I was thinking about like uh, he didn't really play in a game. Like, he just played ray allen one-on-one tapped him up in the woods yeah. yeah but had a crazy fit on while doing it the greatest walk-on of all time of all time in basketball sports like of all time at any level give me ollie mcclellan from hoosiers bro come on Bro pick the Rudy. Bro pick the Rudy of basketball stories. I, I thought he was gonna. I honestly thought he was gonna say Rudy, That's and so I was gonna bad. have an accident. Come play. on, he is literally a walk on. He is yeah, a okay, walk on. Like they literally were not gonna even put him on the team. He didn't even have a jersey. Yeah, I like and it, then bro. they had. And I then totally thought Jared was gonna say hey, Rudy. No, and then um, and then bro shot the free throws underhand and catched yeah. him for the game. It was awful to be honest. Like, Bill Murray, come on, strapping him. Oh, oh bro, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. I was, Dude uh, was to not be honest, supposed to be out there. So my 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 backup name that I thought Jared was gonna have in his five. Honestly, I had Teen Wolf in there, but I didn't. I had Teen Wolf and Jared's five too. I thought uh, for sure he was gonna take him. Nah, I'm not an '80s movie. I uh, thought Jared was going Teen Wolf, like no question. And yeah. I thought he's gonna go Leo in there as well. No, nah, that's like '80s. I can give or take. And Michael J. Fox, like he did okay. Just the. I mean the the basketball scenes were so bad in that movie. That, yeah. like, I yeah. just can't take it seriously that you can play. Yeah, but like Good Ollie, fives, though, guys. Good Ollie was a good. proven 
winner, man. I like the variety we had too. You know, yeah. there was a little worried. Juana that man. Similar list. I was throwing Juana man there. I was surprised you got that. That was a great. Thanks, kid. I had, I, I had like Mike, and then uh, I had Jimmy Chipwood at the two. But yeah, staple though, staple. But no, we definitely but have some good. Air Bud is gonna really lock. That was all I'm saying. And okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I mean. We've hit a lot of on the NBA. Do we, do we want to hit a little bit of golf real quick here before we head out? Jerry got to get his piece off. Let's see. It's 9.41 p.m. right now, so that means in about an hour. So how many it's going to be time. How many chips are we talking? Five, zero. Ah, heard you. Five, zero. 50 chips a night will get you right. Get you right. And I can guarantee that the Kings are not going to win 50 games. <laughs> Did the Kings yeah. get a win tonight? No, no, five. No, well, they lost five. by seven. They lost by seven. Oh, seven. By seven. Oh, I thought that was gonna be, but game time. Yeah, a lot of, I'm gonna get a lot of promise out of the guys in Sacramento. Though. I'm proud of the hustle, proud of the fight. Uh, All right, we'll see what it looks like in December. <laughs> you love to hear it. Uh, hey, you guys should just start tanking now. Nope. Try to get Victor. Nope. Yeah, honestly, just go for Vic, man. Nope. Get Victor to Sacramento. Give nope. Victor, and then I got I got the Warriors gear ready for you, Luke. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a time! Episode thirteen in the books, part three of just us three. So yeah. it's sorry been great. for sorry for the people that don't like when we do this, but I thought this was a great combo. Yeah, a lot I of good. And, and again, I don't know if you know everybody that's going to listen to this, but I hope uh, people understand. This is what we do. We talk about we talk strictly about basketball 24-7. We could do an episode like this nightly. Preparation. Yeah, preparation, preparation, man. Preparation is key for all you young Hoovers out there. If you want to be like Tommy and Luke, preparation, man. Yeah. You want to be like Air Bud. Air Bud. I want to be like Air Bud, too. Bro had four shoes on. That's all I'm saying. Got to be illegal. We, yeah. We appreciate all the listeners out there. I think we just hit a little over 200 followers on the IG too. So that's big time. Let's go. Shout out to all you guys. Really big plays coming up. Shout out Tommy's friend group. (laughs) Hey, friend group, supporters from from, uh, school here. I mean, come on. Trojan student section circa 2020. (laughs) Come on. I mean, we just. They saw Rachel on here and they knew they had to throw the follow. That's what it was. Right? Well, as soon as as soon as the other student section got on here, that's what it was. Yeah. How's Rachel doing, Tom? We don't got that's, time for that. Yeah, not enough time for that. Rachel's good. You need Tommy to close this out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, Thanks Rachel. everybody for listening in. This this is this has been episode 13. We appreciate all you guys so so much. Uh, this is your favorite walk-ons, and we're walking out. <laughs>